beat it before that guy starts dropping eggs on us. I'm with you. Wait. We gotta take Winslow with us. This is the one time I'm forgetting the Scorpion's orders. Me too. Come on. death to the scorpion. Oh, blame it on Barsak. We can say he didn't give us warning enough before he started unloading those bombs. It would be Barsak's word against ours, and scorpion would believe him. We were told to take Winslow alive. Maybe it's just possible he is still alive. He is. Pennington will find him. We'll wait right here and see. Boy, am I glad to see you. I thought they had you for sure that time. What happened? You were bomb sailor. That's what happened. A guy in a plane dumped eggs all over the place. How about those... Three scorpion agents who were here. Oh, I took a couple shots at them and they ran into the jungle. Hey, did you find out anything before the fireworks started? Well, those crooks were working a radio when I first came in, but there's nothing left of it now. Then you think this was their radio headquarters? I'm not so sure. Let's get out of here and we'll talk it over. I wait here. Let's go in and... That's a break. Winslow wasn't killed. There's only two of them. We may still have a chance to catch him alive if we're quick about it. Oh, praise be, lad. You weren't in there when that spalpeen in the plane bombed the place. But I was. Well, then how... But why did they bomb it? Oh, I know the answer to that one myself. It was because Don was in there. I think you're wrong, Mike. The Scorpion's agents knew in some way that we were attempting to triangulate their radio station. I believe they bombed this place to make it look as though the Scorpion was destroying his own hideout to keep it from falling into our hands. You mean they wanted us to believe this was their headquarters? Sure. If they weren't trying to put us off the track, why bomb it? I've got it. Let's get to our car before they reach theirs. Come on. But how did they know we were trying to do any triangulating at all? I don't know, Mike. There must be a leak someplace. A leak that we've got to find and plug if we're ever going to run those crooks to it. You don't suppose they got their information through that microphone they planted under our radio room? No. I cut those wires when I found it. Well, let's get back to the warehouse. What's your idea, Brendan? When Winslow and his men start getting their car, we'll break from cover. They'll follow us to Sam's house in the native village. With Butch and Sam helping us, we'll take Winslow alive. I golly, I can't figure out what all them Scorpion agents is hiding themselves on this island. They could be right out in the open, Mike. They might be miners working for Merlin without his knowing it. Yeah, they might even be working for me. I don't have any way of knowing it. I... But once they get me two hands on the brothers' case... screen to keep us away from them. Can you see to drive, lad? I could drive this thing through a haystack and come out with a needle. And what do we want with a needle? Never mind, Mike. Just hang on. Better slow down, Lieutenant. No, Red. Keep going. We can't afford to lose sight of them. <laughs> road they took us 
took through the village? No, but there's a couple of cars parked up there that look like the one they were in. Mike, give me a hat and coat. And what would you be wanting with them? I'm going on into the village and see if one of them is that car. And I don't want to advertise my identity. Well, maybe my hat and coat will get into a good fight. I can't. Blake, you won't arouse any suspicion. You trail me in at a distance. And if you see me go in one of those houses, you come back here and get the rest of them. Don, why don't you let one of us go in your place this time? The scorpion wants to get me alive. They'll shoot the rest of you on sight. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Don't worry, says he. And him having all the fun. There's Winslow now. Yeah, change his clothes. Thinks he's trying to fool somebody. Yeah, and he's alone. This ought to be a cinch. Okay, do as I told you. He's sure to try to come in here. this car out here? Maybe me and maybe somebody else. What's it to you? Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you about it. Come on in if you think it'll do you any good. Now, what do you want to know? All I can find out about that car out there. Say, who are you anyway? Commander Winslow of the United States Navy. <laughs> yeah? If you're Commander Winslow, I'm Admiral of the fleet. <laughs> He's gone inside. We better get up there. You're wasting your time asking us about that car outside, mister. What would a couple of miners be doing with a car like that? Oh, so you're a couple of miners, eh? Yeah, that's right. You heard what we said. Now get going. Wait a minute. Just answer me a couple of civil questions first. We ain't answer nothing. Now you're going to get out of here, we're going to have to throw you out. You ask for it, mister. between this house and the car outside. I am in that chair. You sure have a lot of nerve busting in here roughhousing my friends. Hands in the clear, all of you. Now over and face that wall. You got it just in time, Ray. Get over there. Get him untied, Mike. Let's get out of here. He's getting away with his two men. We go after them, Commander. Let them go. I want to question these two miners. All right. What have you got to say to yourselves? I'm sorry, Commander. I didn't figure who you were busting in the way you did. What do you know about the man who just escaped? Oh, well, you mean spy? Not much. Him and a couple of other guys by the name of Pringle and Corley come over here sometimes. Do they work in the mine? Sometimes, not regular. Why? They desert us in the Navy? Hardly. We don't have their kind in the Navy. Well, I figured if they were, they'd help you catch them. You knew Merlin, of course. Oh, sure. He's a big shot of the mine. Ask him about me. What's Clamp's the name? This guy here is Sam Munn. Let's get back to the mine. Smart guys. But they can't outsmart the scorpion agent. Like it. You 
You think that mug back there was on the level? Butch? I'm not sure, but I thought we'd better check with Merlin before we do anything else. Sure, and them's my sentiments exactly. heading for the mine. Get Merlin for me. Sixteen, calling M-22. Sixteen, calling M-22. Sixteen, calling M-22. Hold on, please. M-22? Prindle calling, sir. Okay, Brendel, go ahead. Winslow and his men are heading for the mine along the shore road. All right. Cut through on the jungle road and get here before them. Okay. Looks like this is the time we get Winslow. Now get this, Brendel. No, I don't want anything to happen that will make Winslow suspicious of the mine. You carry out my orders, leave the rest to me. submarine base. See that this is accomplished and report. That was close, but we got here before Winslow. Did you see your car arrive? No, we pulled the car into Tunnel 9. And as we were walking toward the shaft house, we saw Winslow's car coming up the coast hill. All right. Why you stay here? Brindle, you and Spike call about. I may need you, but keep out of Winslow's sight. Yes. M-22. Taylor, the chemist, wants you in the reduction chamber right away. He says it's important. Okay. He's on his way out. comply with your demand for more speed in my vaporization and reduction process. Go ahead, but make it as brief as possible. When I raise the temperature to 120 degrees in this room, it speeds up vaporization. But those vapors are so deadly that I lose time in ventilating this chamber before it's safe for anyone to get in here to reload the tanks. You ventilate this chamber from the control room? Yes, sir. I open and close the ventilators from the control room. With the same lever, I open the door. You better get over to the shaft house. Winslow and his gang are just driving through the gate. I'll get over right away. All right, go ahead with your vaporization, the same as you've been doing. But remember, we have to ship some more gold out of here right away to keep up our front. Yes, sir. You better stay right here in the car and wait for me. Can't we just snoop around a bit? No, Mike. This is just a social call on Merlin. Well, Commander, this is an agreeable surprise. Thanks. I'd like a little information about some of your miners. Why, of course, Winslow. I'm entirely at your service. Do you have three men by the names of Prindle, Spike, and Corley working for you? Prindle, Spike, and Cor... Yes, I believe we have, but not regularly. Why do you ask? Those men are definitely Scorpion agents. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Shouldn't be difficult to round them up. Mr. Merlin, there's some serious trouble in lateral number two. The engineer in charge would like you to go down there at once. I'm sorry, Commander. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me for a couple of minutes. You can wait in my office if you like. Thank you very much.
I put the oar in all the tanks, sir. You'll go ahead with your representation. Oh, good, good. I won't answer. We can't talk here. I don't want Merlin to know I'm in the mine. No, he's going to know it. All right. Start walking towards the elevator. Move. chamber door. Yes, sir. Now, I'll turn on the 420 degrees. M22 is in a hurry for the gold. M22 is always in a hurry. 